Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called The Maze Runner. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. A man wakes up in a dark elevator, not being able to remember who he is or where he came from. He tries desperately to get out as the elevator rushes towards the surface, but suddenly, everything stops and the hatches above him opens, revealing a bright light. Numerous men begin to surround him like a cornered animal, and they throw him onto the ground while laughing at the man's confusion. The main character rushes out immediately and tries to get away, but quickly falls down due to his dizziness. When the man finally regains his composure, he realizes realizes in shock that he's trapped inside the area, where gigantic walls are surrounding him from all sides. The people put the man into a cell for running away, and he eventually meets the leader of this place called Albi, who assures the main character that it's normal to have amnesia at first. The leader decides to show the man all the facilities that they set up, and explains to him that every month, the elevator would bring up supplies, including a new person. Albi also introduces him to Newt, the second in command of this place, before taking the the man up to a vantage point where a clear view of the exit can be seen. He wonders what's beyond these mysterious walls, but the leader tells him to never leave this area no matter what happens. Despite what Albi has told him, the man decides to inspect the large exit by himself, as a young boy named Chuck tries to prevent him from breaking the rule. However, he quickly sees a couple of people running back from the outside, and Chuck explains that only the runners are allowed to leave, due to their extensive experience beyond the walls. He ignores the boy and continues to wander outside, but is quickly pushed over by a tall man called Gali, who shames the main character for trying to break the rules. All the people gather around the commotion as Albi tries to calm the man down from doing anything rash, but their arguments are quickly stopped by a loud noise from the outside. It turns out that the exit actually has doors, and the massive structure begins closing together, preventing anyone from leaving as the night falls. The man finally realizes the danger of this place, as he could have been easily stuck outside. Side. At night, the people begin to celebrate for surviving a new month, as they light up the bonfire and gather around for a large party, but the main character is in no mood to enjoy the fun. He wants to know everything about the truth, and Newt tells him that a large moving maze lies outside these walls, and it's the runner's job to map out the entire geography. Besides trying to find the exit, they must also evade the giant monsters inside the structure known as Grievers, who's capable of turning humans into zombie-like creatures by infection. The enemies usually only come out at night, and whoever is trapped outside after sunset will be killed. Newt tries to get the main character to join the party, but quickly bumps into Gally once again, as the man tries to intimidate him into a sparring. Forced by the peer pressure from all the people, the man has no choice but to walk into the center of the crowd as he prepares himself to fight. However, he's quickly overpowered by the opponent as Gally throws the man onto the ground. The main character tries to fight again, but is clearly no match for the person in front of him, as he gets tossed around like a ragdoll and thrown into the sands. Surprisingly, the the man is able to remember his name as Thomas after getting hit on the head, causing everyone to celebrate alongside him for finally recovering his identity. Their cheering is quickly interrupted by a fearsome roar from beyond the wall, and bringing the people back to the dangers of reality. The next day, while helping out the people to do some chores, Thomas wanders into the woods where he eventually finds a large grave that's surrounded by human bones. Suddenly, he notices someone behind him who turns out to be Ben, and the man attacks him immediately while continuously blaming Thomas for everything that's happened. He eventually manages to hit the enemy on the head, and takes the chance to run back towards the people as Ben chases him closely behind. The boys quickly notice the commotion and rushes in to stop the fight, as they knock out the attacker immediately and saving Thomas's life. When the people lift up the man's shirt, they realize that he's been infected by the monsters, giving them no other choice but to lock up their friend, as Ben begs them to save his life. Before sundown, the people bring the infected man towards the exit of the wall, and they start pushing him out by using the wooden poles. The man fights desperately to stay inside, but is eventually forced out from the area, as the massive doors close right in front of them. The people are clearly very upset by what they had to do, but it was the only choice that they had left to save everyone else. Later that night, Thomas begins having visions while dreaming, as he sees a laboratory where the face of a woman continues to appear, and he keeps on hearing the phrase that wicked is good. The man wakes up in shock from the vivid dreams, and quickly notices that LB has personally gone outside the walls before sunrise. Thomas questions Newt about why the leader himself would leave the shelter, and the man reassures the main character that LB knows what he's doing, as he's the oldest survivor here. However, 
However, the knight quickly approaches and the runners still haven't returned, causing everyone to worry as they guard over the exit towards the maze. Very soon, the loud noise happens once again, causing the giant doors to close in front of the people, and they realize that their leader may be lost forever. Surprisingly, Thomas catches sight of their comrades inside the maze, but quickly notices that something is wrong as the runner Mino is carrying their leader who appears to be hurt. The people shout for them to hurry up, but Thomas realizes that they're not going to make it and decides to go inside the maze against the rules, eventually managing to arrive outside. After all his efforts, the man's courage was not rewarded by the runner, as Mino congratulates Thomas for essentially killing himself. It's quickly revealed that LB was actually stunned by a griever, and Mino had no choice but to knock the man out. With no other options, they decide to raise their unconscious friend onto the wall so that he would not be killed by the monsters. Their plan is quickly interrupted when Mino begins hearing the noises from the creatures, causing him to run away and leaving Thomas alongside the hanging body. The man has no choice but to hide behind the plants while holding onto Albi as he watches the griever cross slowly past their location. Thinking that the enemy is gone, the man takes the chance and rushes out from hiding so that he can tie his friend onto the wall, but quickly realizes that something is wrong. A shadowy figure crosses behind the main character and he feels a nasty liquid drop onto his shoulder as a giant monster lands right in front of him and screams furiously at his face. Thomas runs immediately while the griever chases him closely behind, and the man is able to evade the enemy as he uses the giant walls for cover. However, he quickly runs into a dead end and sees the monster approaching towards him, forcing the man to climb onto the walls by using the vines. He manages to make it onto the structure and tries desperately to escape the enemy by jumping across the walls, but eventually ends up on a cliff where there's nowhere to run. After seeing that the monster is approaching, Thomas is forced to jump towards the adjacent wall as the creature leaps towards him as well. The griever tries to sting the man, causing everything to fall down in the process, as the plants capture the giant creature like a net, allowing the main character to escape temporarily. Surprisingly, he runs into Mino once again, who decided to come back to help his friend, and they make it towards a moving wall, planning to lose the enemy by using the maze. Thomas sees this and comes up with a plan, as he lures the creature towards him while running desperately to his comrade. The walls begin to close in as the griever chases Thomas closely behind, while the man runs towards his friend with all his might. The next day, while the people wait for their comrades to return, it's quickly revealed that Thomas was able to survive after all and also bring back their leader at the same time. Mino tells everyone that the main character actually managed to kill the griever, which is the reason why they're still alive. However, not everyone agrees with the man's action, especially Gally who points out that Thomas broke the rules that was set up by the people. On top of that, there may be consequences for killing the griever, as the monsters may seek vengeance as a result. Their arguments are quickly interrupted when they hear the elevator moving towards the surface, which is way ahead of schedule, and they rush towards the field right away. To their shock, a girl is brought towards the surface unlike all the other times, and they find a piece of note that says that she'll be the last one. Thomas quickly recognizes the stranger's face, as she was the person who always appeared in his dreams. Suddenly, the woman wakes up and screams out the main character's name, before passing out soon after, making all the others question what her relationship is with the man. The people ponder about what they should do now, as they won't last very long without additional supplies from the elevator, but Thomas thinks that the true answer lies within the maze. He manages to convince Mino to gather help, so that they can go back to examine the monster that they killed, and the people quickly run towards the exit before the night comes. The team goes through the maze, eventually arriving to the griever's body, and they begin to pull at the monster all together, managing to remove one of its legs. Mino quickly notices a beeping noise inside the flesh, and reveals what appears to be a tracking device that has the number 7 on its screen. They decide to leave the place immediately before any other creatures come back, and Mino decides to show Thomas their secret lair which only the leaders know about. It turns out that they have finished mapping the entire maze a long time ago, but LB decided to not tell the people that there wasn't any exits so that they won't lose any hope. However, now that they have found this new device, they may actually be able to escape. Mino explains that there are walls on the outer edges which have numbers on them, and always move in the same sequence, opening up new sections in the process. He thinks that they should head to the area of number 7, as he believes that there may be a place that the Grievers go to which is not opened up to the humans. Before their conversation can finish, they are quickly notified by their friends that the girl is awake. They run outside immediately, only to see that the girl is throwing everything
everything at the boys, trying to prevent them from getting closer as there are too many sausages and not enough buns. The main character tries to stop the woman by revealing his name, finally stopping this chaos as she only wants to speak to him. The man approaches the girl while trying to calm her down and is surprised to hear that she actually remembers her own name which turns out to be Teresa. She tells Thomas that she doesn't remember anything else but his name and reveals that she has two syringes inside her pocket. The man recognizes the symbol on the container that says Wicked and remembers the voice in his dreams which always tells him that Wicked is good, making him think that these may be antidotes. They quickly go towards Albie and decides to give him a dose as the man will die anyways if nothing else is done. The people hold their leader in place and stings the man using the needle, which immediately takes away the symptoms as Albie slowly becomes unconscious. The next day, Thomas goes with Mino as they plan to find out the truth about Section 7 and they quickly head into the maze while running across the massive walls. The two eventually make it towards the area and arrive into a place that has numerous blades in the field and Thomas notices that the beeping from the machine is becoming louder. The man begins going towards the direction which causes the noises to increase and they eventually arrive in front of a large entrance that was never there before. They head carefully inside while examining the place and walks through a large bridge that brings them towards a wall that seems to be a dead end. Suddenly, their machine stops beeping and turns green, which opens up the walls in front of them. They walk inside the entrance and arrive towards a small tunnel, but realizes that something is wrong while the two are scanned by lasers, causing a loud noise to occur. The two starts running away from the place immediately as the doors close right behind them. They make it outside of the entrance and sees that the giant blades are beginning to turn, forcing them to rush towards the exit before they are trapped inside. The two are able to escape from the blades, but the entire floor begins to open up, forcing them to run desperately for their lives as numerous walls drop down right behind them. They are eventually able to find a small entrance where they jump inside immediately and cross through the closing walls before being turned into human pancakes. The boys head back towards the base and tells the people everything that they discovered, but quickly learns that Albie has finally regained consciousness. They go to his room immediately and is shocked to see that the man is in tears. Apparently, Albie has regained his memories, revealing that there are people watching them from the outside and that there is no way out from the maze. They are quickly interrupted by the commotions outside, causing the people to rush towards the field and everyone is shocked to see that the gates have not closed even after sunset. Their worst nightmare becomes true when numerous grievers approach towards the settlement, forcing everyone to run for their lives. They make it towards the cornfields and try to hide under the plants, but the monsters are able to find them right away as the people are killed one by one. The team escapes towards the houses, but the buildings are no match for the giant creatures as they destroy everything that's in their way. Teresa grabs onto a burning container and throws it at the enemy, causing fire to engulf the creature and giving them a chance to run. However, the monster recovers quickly and begins killing the humans once again, while Thomas tries to protect his friends by taking on the creature himself. Luckily, the man is saved by his comrades who throws multiple spears at the griever, allowing them to escape into the main building while the creature is stunned. The people try to hide inside the shelter, but the monster locates them immediately and manages to grab onto Albie in the process, pulling the man out right in front of everyone. Thomas charges outside right away to save his friend, only to realize that the creatures have decided to retreat and is nowhere in sight. Gally rushes towards the main character in anger and punches him towards the floor, blaming everything on Thomas as he thinks that the creatures were here for revenge. The man begins to feel guilty for letting his friends die as he takes the stinger from the grievers and stabs himself on the leg, causing him to faint towards the ground. Thomas begins remembering his past memories and realizes that he was part of a team that was experimenting on the people here, and Teresa was actually one of his colleagues. The man eventually regains consciousness and his friends tell him that Gally has taken taken over the place, managing to convince the people to banish Thomas alongside the girl. The main character apologizes to his comrades as he tells them the truth about how they're all part of an experiment and this whole thing was only a test. The people are shocked to hear this revelation, but Newt assures Thomas that this changes nothing as their objective is still the same, which is to regain their freedom. Very soon, Gally's men brings the two towards the large doors, and to everyone's shock, instead of just banishing them, he wants to sacrifice their lives as a peace offering for the monsters. Luckily, Thomas is able to break free in the last moment and regains the advantage alongside his friends while trying to convince everyone that their only option is to escape. 
He tells the people about his memories and that this was never their home, causing many of the followers to switch sides, while Gowley tells Thomas that he's leading his friends to die. They have no choice but to leave the remaining people behind as they head out towards the maze, eventually arriving at Section 7 while they approach the entrance of the Griever's home. They see a single monster guarding the entrance and begins charging towards the enemy altogether as the monster roars furiously at the people. They clash towards each other and the boys are able to push the creature away way, forcing the monster back as they manage to knock it off the bridge and killing it as a result. However, other grievers begin to climb out from the ground, forcing the people to retreat immediately as they try to open the gates while holding the monsters back. Chuck runs inside the tunnel alongside Teresa, but they're not able to open the final door while the boys are being killed by the monsters one by one. Teresa finds out that the entrance requires an 8 digit password, and Thomas realizes that it must be the sequence of the outer shells, while telling Mino to recite the order. The man begins telling them the code, as the monsters forces them backwards with nowhere to run, but they're able to open the gates in the last moment. This causes all the doors to slam down onto the creatures, and killing them all in the process, while the people slowly enter into a mysterious hallway that begins to light up altogether. They follow the lights and eventually arrive at the emergency exit, and Thomas decides to open the door, only to find that all the people inside have died. The team goes towards the center of the room, and realizes that Thomas Thomas's memories were true after all, and they were nothing more than lab rats. Suddenly, a screen lights up in front of them, and a woman known as Dr. Page congratulates the people for passing their final test. It turns out that humanity was nearly destroyed by solar flares in the past, which killed billions of people in the process. What's even worse, a virus known as the flare emerged into the population, which attacks the people's brains and turning them into dangerous creatures. Some humans eventually became immune towards the virus, which includes everyone inside the maze. They are purposely put into harsh environments so that their brains can be studied to find out what's different about them, hoping that it will lead to a cure. These experiments are strongly opposed by many, as the people see numerous soldiers rushing into the facility and killing all the scientists, explaining why everyone here is dead. Before the people can decide on what to do next, they're stopped by a voice from behind who turns out to be Gally, and it's clear that he's been infected. The man continues to blame Thomas for everything that happened before shooting him his gun at the main character, but Mino is able to throw a spear at the enemy and causing him to fall down. However, they quickly find out that Chuck has taken a bullet for Thomas, causing him to eventually pass away as the main character mourns for the boy's death alongside his friends. Suddenly, numerous soldiers rush inside the building while taking all the people away, and they grab onto Thomas who's clearly overwhelmed by his friend's death. They make it outside the buildings and are finally able to see the remains of human civilizations while being forced onto military helicopters. The choppers take off into the air as the people witness the entirety of the maze, while a stranger assures them that everything will be alright from now on. What they don't understand is that the whole thing was staged, and Dr. Page was never killed by the attack, which turns out to be a part of the experiment that she designed. The woman tells all her colleagues that everything was a success, as all the survivors fly towards the next phase of their experiment. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.